This is Talk of the Nation. I'm Neil Cullen, broadcasting live from the Knight Studio inside the museum in Washington, D.C. What you think he contributed to this year's campaign? Give us a call, 800-989-8255. Email us, talk at npr.org. You can read what other listeners have to say on our blog at npr.org slash blog of the nation. And here with us at the museum, Congressman and candidate Ron Paul, author of the new book, The Revolution Manifesto. And thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. Good to be here. And the first question, I guess, is uh, you're still running? <laughs> right now, I'm sitting. Well. <laughs> different now, but uh, yes, we're still very much involved. The political process offers a great opportunity for all of us. And have you been out campaigning uh, actively in these states? Sure. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow, I'll, tomorrow I'll go to Kentucky. We have a couple events there. And I had a couple of big rallies in North Carolina and Indiana. And we get large crowds out. We're still getting very, very large crowds. I mean, uh, it, it turns of thousands of people come out. And, and meaning no disrespect, John McCain has the delegates pledged to win on the first ballot. Why, why are you doing this? Well, he doesn't have the hearts and minds of the conservatives and the libertarians out there who feel like this country's going in the wrong direction. And for some reason, there's a lot of people who think the Republican Party's not going in the right direction. One time on, this, on stage in a debate, I said that Republicans have lost their way. Well, these recent elections might uh, defend my position there, losing all these elections. So, yes, there's a lot of discontent out there. They're hoping that John McCain can pull it all together acting more like a Democrat, but uh, a lot of people aren't all that happy with it. 